Hi there. Welcome to a yin practice. You will need a couple of props for this practice. So a bolster is wonderful. If you don't have a bolster, a pillow from your bed or a couch cushion is great. A uh, block again is really helpful, but a big fat book might be just as good. And a blanket or a towel. If it's a towel, make sure it's a big towel. So how you're gonna start is you'll be grabbing your blanket or your towel and you want a fairly long and roll it up into a really tight sausage roll. And when you have that, place it lengthways down your yoga mat behind you and come and sit on. Hug it into the low back, recline all the way down. You might want to shift a little away from it, but the blanket needs to run the length of the spine. Arms by your side, but not too high up. Take them a little bit lower, so just off the edges of the mat. Draw the shoulder blades down the back, and then rest heavily. The idea here is that just the front of the chest can gently open as the shoulders kind of cascade back and down. It's a really nice, pretty subtle posture to just work to adjust the, the posture and to kind of counteract the impact of this arms out in front of us, hunching that we tend to do in our daily lives. If there's any discomfort in your low back, go on and bend your knees and take the soles of the feet to the mat. That's absolutely fine. And close down your eyes. Settle in. We'll be using the blanket a few times in this practice, a couple of different shapes. And much of this practice is kind of comfy, <laughs> cozy shapes. Nothing too intense. Let the majority of your focus rest on your breath out. Notice the different parts of the body from the toes to the crown, from the fingertips. Breathe in a sense of focus and presence. And breathe out any tension, distraction, staleness. Be patient with your body, with this practice. Creating new patterns takes time, patience, persistence. Enjoy about five more breaths here. Take one more breath here. Mm. Let yourself just roll off your blanket roll, doesn't matter which side. 
And then when you get there, press your way up into a seat. Take your right leg and cross it across the front of your mat. Hug the heel a bit into the groin. Take your left leg and rest the shin of your left leg or that lower left leg into the arch of the right foot, toes point back. Take your right hand onto the outside of your left knee and left fingertips gently down by your side. Take a little twist towards the left. This isn't about the twist, this is about the neck. And then drop the shoulders away from the ears, particularly that right shoulder. Take a breath in. And then drop your chin towards your left collarbone. You'll begin to feel something in that right side of neck, almost all the way from jaw down to collarbone and across the top of the shoulder, maybe even the top of the arm, maybe. And have a little play around with the exact set of your head. The tucking of the chin, the lifting of the chin, the dropping of the ear towards the shoulder. Um, notice if that left shoulder is hunching up towards the ear, drop it down. I like to narrow my shoulder blades ever so slightly here. I think it's really helpful. Find something that feels good and be still. Close the eyes, take breath. If for any reason this leg setup isn't good for you, a simple cross leg is also fine. It's not quite as effective, but it's a good alternative. Take about three or four more breaths here. Begin to lift the head back to neutral. Once you have that, you can untwist the torso. And just slip that left knee a little bit further back so it's off the right foot. And both hands over to the right. Go on and take a bit of a twist. You might even look back. Recenter yourself. And grab your bolster in front of you. And we're going to be coming forward. So I really like this variation of just slipping that left leg back ever so slightly. And so it's a really off center, kind of slightly awkward uh, pigeon pose. But you may prefer to slip the left leg all the way back behind you and come into a more traditional pigeon pose. Although in yin, we call it sleeping swan. That's completely your choice. You can organize your bolsters, your props. Let's find something that you can relax into.
I'm just going to be here for a couple of minutes. If you need to make any adjustments, do. If you find that your right glutes are really stubborn and you can't release, you might have a little squeeze in the right buttock and then a let go with the breath out. And do that two or three times, squeezing buttock to breath in, releasing to breath out. Usually I find that on about the third, there's a bit of a deeper release. You can feel it kind of going right on in and the pelvis can get heavy and sink down. And everything just feels a whole heap more comfortable. About halfway through this hold, so any adjustments that you need to make to back off or to find more depth, please do so. Take about four more breaths here. The last one. Walk your hands back in, come on up. Just tuck those back toes under, step it back into down dog. Very onion, but really lovely. You might like to paddle the legs. Take your feet as wide as the mat. Grab your book or your block on the way. Walk your hands back. Come into Malasana or Yogi Squat. Slip the block underneath the sit bones. And of course, it's got a couple of different heights. So if you're using blocks, you can, uh, books, you can stack them up. Palms together, elbows inside the knees. If your heels are lifting, you can slide your blanket underneath them to support you. It's fine. Take a few breaths here. And just for the last part, I flip the hands so the back of the hands are together and the fingers are down. It's really nice for the wrists.
taking about three or four more breaths here. Right into the belly. Feel it spread across the back of your body. Let's take two more here. Big breath in. Long, steady breath out. And then another one, just like that. Good. Release those hands. You can rock forward back on to the all fours and then come down into seat and take your left leg cross across top of mat and slip your right shin into the arch of that left foot. The knees should be relatively lined up here. And go on and take a little twist over towards the right. Left hand to right knee right hand behind you. Sit really tall here, dropping shoulders well away from your ears. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, start to play with the position of your head so you can feel something really good. Left side of neck. It might be the tuck of the chin. It might be the lift of the chin. It might be more ear to shoulder. Go on and move in and explore. When you find a good bit, be still. Watch the shoulders aren't shrugging. Take them down. Deep belly breath. Your breath just flows through the body, kind of like waves. One comes, one goes, another comes, just rolls on over you, picking up any kind of debris inside and sending it off and away. Pretty lively day here in Wembley outside of the studio door. I think some road works just started and people laughing, so I'm hoping that the microphone's not picking up too much of that noise. Apologies if it is. Let's tune out to just about everything except for what's happening in your own body. Let's take a few more breaths here. There's so many different ways of stretching out into the neck, different ways of organizing the kind of structure of the body. This is one of my favorite. It's a really effective way of getting all the way down the side of the neck, the top of the arm as well. Begin to lift the head. Untwist the torso. Where? And just send that left leg a bit more across the top of the mat. Release the right knee off. And go on and twist out to the left. Maybe even look back. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Sometimes this can create a bit of discomfort in the right hip here, low back. Let's pull that hip away if necessary. Let's two more breaths. Good. You can release that back to center. 
And then it's pigeon pose, all that funny little somewhat half deer pose, half pigeon variation on the legs, depending on what you took on the other side, although you don't have to mirror. But either way, the left leg will be in front, the right will be back. You can use props, bolsters, books, blocks, blankets. Just sink on in. And just like in the other side, you're going to be here for a couple of minutes. So once you get there, you stay put a few breaths. And then you may notice that there's some shifting that can occur. A deepening or a requirement for more props. And respond to that. And then when you have... Try and resist the temptation to shift and to shuffle anymore and try and be as still as you possibly can. The movement of breath through the body is really the only thing. Any pain, that all goes out the window and you come out. Otherwise, just enjoy the feel, that sense of whole, whole body experience. I was reading something that um, one of my trainers who I go to wrote this morning. And she wrote about yoga practice like being, it's like being given a manual to the inside working of your body. It's like you can get to understand it, how it functions, how it's put together how each little part can work with the other to support each other. How no bodies are the same, so no practices are the same. And how we adapt and change depending on what, we, what we're doing, what our lifestyle is like, where we are in our lives. And what we want to achieve but really, above all, the yoga practice should be supportive for the body. It should be a way to resolve any issues that there may be with it, not to potentially create more. Let's take a little bit longer here. And just take three more breaths. Big and deep in. Long and steady, of course, out. just like that. And you can begin to very slowly press up to the hand. Drop out to your left hip and swoop your right leg out in front of you. Both legs 
out in front. Right. And just keep your legs long in front for a moment. You can point and flex the toes. You can get the hands and give them a good squeeze on all the way down, particularly around the knees. They've been bent, or one has, or the other for quite some time, maybe into the hips. Nice. And take your bolster and just slip it underneath the back of the knees. Take a breath in. As you exhale, you can begin to fold forward. Arms can just rest wherever they rest. Head can be heavy here, please. Little tuck of chin in towards the chest. Let your belly be soft. You don't need to be gripping or holding here. If you prefer to get a bit more or something into the back of the legs, you're welcome to take the same caterpillar shape, we call it, but without the bolster behind the knees. So just slipping the bolster out and taking a forward fold without any props. It's also quite nice. It's a little bit stronger for the body. Just enjoy another half minute or so here. Thinking about the exhale as a way to just release and sink deeper. The inhale brings in the new and the fresh and sense of life and vitality. And the exhale just clears anything old and stale and unnecessary, out it goes. Okay, just two more breaths here. Big breath in. Slow breath out. One more just like that. Big, long, deep breath in. And all the way out. Walk your hands back on up, raise tall. Take a roll of the shoulders up and back. That should feel really good. And maybe even one more big, big roll up and back. Slip your feet off your bolster and take your bolster lengthways down the top of the mat. Come and sit with your right hip into the bolster and knees, ankles lined up. You can twist on over one arm either side of the bolster. Think belly button to bolster. So there's a little bit of twisting happening here. And then ideally left cheek. You might prefer right cheek. I'm gonna keep right cheek just to protect the microphone so I don't get it stuck. And then separate your forearms down to the ground. Some of you might even like to take your arms wide, palms down. I actually really like that. And then some of you might even take that top leg, it's the left one, and slip it back a little bit into the arch of the right foot. Close down the eyes. Relax deeply into the bolster. Know that it's got you, it's got the support here.
Once you take maybe four or five breaths, you may even just press into the fingertips or the hands, lift the chest, twist a little bit deeper, and then try and come on down all over again, and then relax once more, arms either long or elbows bent. And just closing the eyes and relaxing on in here. Let's take a bit of time. So three more breaths here. One more here. And maybe your eyes stay closed. We're just simply going to come into the other side. So you can raise up. Just turn it around, left hip to bolster, knees and ankles stacking, hand either side, and then belly and cheek to bolster. Arms might be wide, all forearms down, top leg might slip back a little bit. Take about four or five breaths. And then press into your hands to lift the belly, deepen the twist, and then settle on in. Close down the eyes. Find steady breath. You're looking at the screen. My head is only up to protect the microphone, so don't copy me. Pop your head down, pop your cheek down. Let's take a little bit longer here. And 
And simply letting those tissues on the right outer side of hip become more spacious. Breathing deeply into any space that we create. And just observing the sensations, not necessarily trying to decipher and understand, but just be aware of. If there's anything that you're a bit unsure of, Think more about it after the practice. You can have a little play around, try and work out what's happening. But for now, just be, be aware, just take notice. Let's take another three breaths here. Okay, you can begin to lift up and out of this. Go slow. And then when you're there, just spin around towards the front of your mat. I'm gonna set you up in your final shape. It's a little bit of a setup, but I promise it's completely worth it. So, first of all, grab your book or your block. And just on its low height, medium height, back of mat. Bolster goes on top. And if you don't have it, it's totally fine. If you've just got a pillow, it's totally fine. And if you don't have any of these and you want to be flat on your back and just do the leg, that's absolutely fine too. And then you want your blanket in the roll that we had at the beginning. So re-roll it if necessary, or your towel. And slip the soles of your feet together, knees wide. Pretty loosely though, don't hug them too close in. Take the blanket or the towel. Let me face you here so you can see a little better when I do this. Take the blanket or towel and pop it over the top of the feet and then grab the edges and wrap them around so that underneath the outer edges of the ankle. So if you can see here from the side view, I've got the, the blanket wrapped around the outer edges, but it's over the top of the feet. So there's a little bit of a fuss and bother getting into it, but you'll see why in a moment. It's super nice. And then scooch your bum back be careful as you go down. Sometimes you might need to hold the, uh, the blanket or towel just in place by the hands down inside the knees. And careful as you go down to find the support. Once you're there, tuck the tailbone, set the buttocks down, hands ideally either side, palms face up. So this blanket roll will just support the ankles and the feet. It will take some of the intensity out of this wide leg and it'll allow the inner thighs, the inner seam of your legs to just kind of release and relax. It'll allow you to relax right down into the hips. It should be really nice. If it's not, get up and play around with that blanket and find a way that is. So, we're ending the practice here. This is essentially your Shavasana. I'll be leaving you here in just a moment, but stay for as long as you want. The longer the, the, longer the better, the longer the better in these shapes. But just for a moment before I leave you, refind your breath along with me. Take a breath in for four, three, two, one. Take a breath out for six, five, four, three, two, one. Breath in for four, three, two, one. Breath out for six, five, Four, three, two, one. One more just like that. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, 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 four, three, two, one. Exh
three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in. Part the lips, sigh it out. Return to your natural, usual, settled breath. And enjoy this final shape. I'm going to leave you here. So thank you so much for sharing your practice with me in your home. Namaste.